So it's just that uh, when I look at other TIs targeted individual uh, with electronic harassment, it seems to have a common thing, and that is that they are uh, very spiritual people, and they are still God people, even though they're being tortured. And you might say, well, wouldn't you say God should get rid of all the torture? And the answer from God is yes. And the answer from God is all of you people should also understand that from a human perspective, there's a human need for all of us to realize that if you expect God to help you all out, then you all need to help God out. And you need to be God's hands. In other words, when there are people in your community that are being beaten up by remote control, by this horrible technology, people in the community need to realize that, you know, these people cannot help themselves. It is the worst torture. So from God's perspective, it's where is the human response? And from my perspective is there's zero human response. It's like, you know, I don't exist. So if that's my experience, another TI is going to feel the same way. To the psychiatrist, you can't take a pill to get rid of electronic harassment. Any more than you can take a pill and then jump into a microwave oven and be protected. It's illogical. And then what would be the whole lesson from this? Well, so far the lesson is that people don't give a rat's ass about people in their community. Their friends and their family. They don't care. The politicians don't care. No one cares. So, the police don't care. I even emailed the, uh, the local militia, the Navy uh, Reserve. Well, it's the, 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 very hard to even find a local number. Especially when you're when you're a TI, you don't have a lot of freedom because you're tortured and you know your ability to do independent thought is blocked. It's like a man in black in those movies, those those uh, things that they neuralizers they do that to you by remote control. That's unbelievably high tech. So anyways, so the way this plays out is how it looks at everybody how they react targeted people it's you know it's a horror I know but you have to come to an understanding that this is what it is everybody's got to come to the same conclusion that this is a school and part of our school is hard hard decisions hard decisions hard decisions because it's real life and you've got to have the courage of your convictions if you do, you got to stand for something. And if you're not willing to stand for anything, then you know when God looks at you, it's like, well, you know, what kind of person are you? In the end, you have to answer for that. What kind of person are you? Everyone is judged. And then this all ends up somehow with... The last judgment, the last day. When's the last day? Well, everybody thinks it's the day when you drop dead. But you don't know, it could be today. I know it sounds silly, but you know, if you want to know my perspective, my perspective is just that. So says God through me. In other words, I'm not gonna, st God says I'm not gonna stop this horrific thing that humans are doing to humans. Because that's the way it is. It plays out in this place. What's the use of having a God that doesn't protect you? Well, God said this is the way it is. I know you all have these ideas from a human perspective of what should be. But this is the way it is. The rationale is that people need to open their hearts and be human to other humans human history is nothing but humans abusing other humans so everyone is being tested have you grown up as a soul or are you still Because 
it's your test, your final exam.